Right, Mike, as time passes, we're learning more about the three people killed in yesterday's explosions. Right now, two of the three victims have been identified. Those victims include a 29-year-old woman and an 8-year-old boy. Flowers and a candle rest on the Richard family front porch at their Dorchester neighborhood home in Boston. Martin Richard, just 8 years old, was standing near the finish line with his family when the bombs on Boylston Street went off yesterday afternoon. His mother and sister were both badly hurt. Those around the nation as well as those in his hometown are in shock tonight, now having to cope with the fact that he is not coming home. They're your all-American family. They used to play outside all the time. The kids were outside all the time, having a good time. Um, and it's just a horrendous tragedy. He used to try to make a sad moment into a funny moment and he used to work for it and make everybody happy again. Yeah. But this he can't because he's passed away. We have 1,300 students at the academy and we have 1,300 prayers that are, that are headed their way. Martin Richard, his mother and sister had gone to get ice cream before returning to the finish line area where those bombs exploded. In a statement, Martin's father, Bill Richard, said, quote, My dear son Martin has died from injuries sustained in the attack on Boston. My wife and daughter are both recovering from serious injuries. We thank our family and friends, those we know and those we have never met for their thoughts and prayers. Now also killed in those bombings was a 29-year-old restaurant manager, Crystal Campbell from Medford, Massachusetts. Campbell's father says she had gone with a friend to watch the marathon. The identity of the third victim has not yet been released, but of course, as soon as Eyewitness News learns new information, you can count on us to update you. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Jennifer Mobilia, Eyewitness News.